1915, World War I had just begun, and the fighting raged across Europe. In these turbulent times, a budding economy supplied the fighting with vehicles, guns, and ammo. America. Although America was supplying the Allies, they had declared neutrality in the conflict. Germany, the strongest country in the Central Powers, had taken notice of this and would not stand for it. Um, yeah. Submarine! Yeah. Oh, oh, God, 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 God. God. Almost to Liverpool, no, we can't. The Lusitania was hit by a torpedo from a German U-boat on May 7th, 1915. Over 1,500 people died, including 128 American citizens. The sinking of the Lusitania caused outrage among Americans. However, the American government was partially at fault for the incident. The Lusitania was in fact a passenger line. However, the American government was hiding shipments of supplies to Britain on the ship. Even worse, the passengers were unaware of their roles as human shields and had no idea that they were at risk of an attack. So, while the attack was a tragedy, not all of the blame could be placed on Germany. Many Americans believed that the government should declare war on Germany for the incident. However, the government declared that America would stay neutral. Thus, random acts of submarine warfare would continue throughout the year. Then, on March 24th, 1916, the Sussex, a French ship, was struck by a German torpedo. Damn! Yeah? Blood! Oh, shit! casualties in this attack, and although no Americans died, the Americans were once again outraged. This event prompted Germany to enact the Sussex Pledge, which stated that ships would be given warnings to turn around before they would be attacked. Although America did not declare war for these actions, it is true that they were a large part of America's decision to join the war.